Okay? So that's how we can calculate the new boiling point when you add stuff to it. Because like I said, this is called boiling point and increasing in, or elevation and freezing point depression are called colligative properties. This is for you guys and girls and it's collapsible. You may come across this. This is kind of an important deal. Uh, so keep that in mind. The rest of you, you're taking chem two. We're going to talk about that uh, as well. Now, what is the uh, second one? This is the freezing point one. Uh, this deals with, uh, uh, oh, same solution. Okay, well, I thought I did that, but I couldn't remember. All right, so let, let's talk about that real quick and explain uh, why that happened. So let's, again, take another beaker of water, only now we're going to chill it to freeze. So what's going on with the water molecules? Now, ice water, ice water is really weird because it's one of the few times in which the density of the solid is less than the density of the liquid of the same material. It's, it doesn't happen very often, but it does with water. Um, this is why you see ice float on top instead of sink to the bottom. Um, so, why? What's going on there? Well, I, remember when I said that water likes to bond to itself? So you got this hydrogen, here, got a hydrogen here, and then hydrogen front, back, left, right, all you got, you got water, you got water's all over the place here. Okay, and you get this, this nice long semi-organized structure. But when it starts to freeze, freezing means you are going to create a solid. If you're going to create a solid, it has to take on a geometric shape. Whatever that geometric shape, there's a number of shapes that uh, crystalline structures can take on. Um, but for this right here, it buckles in such a way where there's a lot of gaps between the water. And it's a very organized, very systematic thing, which is why you have a density less than with the water, because it's more compact with water. It's more far apart with the solid. And so the geometric shape that's created from this um, has to align itself just that way in order to be considered ice. Now, so if you throw in some, the, uh, the solute, again, remember, the water is bonding to the solute. Okay, so it's, it's got all this different geometric structure on that, so it's trying to re reorganize itself around the solute to create this ice structure that it has to be at in order to be considered ice. So it takes longer for it to get to that point. So the freezing point will actually decrease because it takes longer to get to that point. So, freezing point decreases. with increased um, solute or concentration of solute. That's how we measure solutes in concentration, moles per liter, moles per kilogram, whatever. In this case, moles per kilogram. So that means that the freezing point is going to be equal to the original freezing point, but instead of going up, it goes down. So we're going to subtract here. And that's the part you have to remember. Um, then you have a, what we call a correction factor, which is Kf, which is the constant of freezing, times the molality. So we call this, again, another very clever name, freezing point depression constant. Uh, it's like uh, uh, 
Somebody's married and took on, two, uh, it's probably the second marriage, and took on both names and hyphenated. And it's an ugly mess, and, and the family's not happy. But whatever. Okay. So, anyway, so we got KF, freezing point depression constant. So, in this particular scenario, we are given again a 2.50 mole per kilogram uh, solution. of a covalent compound, which is acetone, which is a formula for acetone, or phenyl polish remover, as some of you may be familiar with. Um, so we got uh, Fp is equal to zero degrees Celsius, the original freezing point of water. That you do have to know, and please say you know that already. Times. Now, the freezing point compression constant, again, you do not have to remember this, but it's 1.86 degrees Celsius per mole per kilogram. That will be given to you on the test as well. Times 2.50. Okay? So, um, this is going to give you a negative answer because, like we said, we should get a drop in temperature. Uh, my calculator got borrowed, so I'm going to have to do this in my head real quick. That's 372 plus 93, 365. Looks like, I'm probably wrong, but I'll just pretend like I know what I'm talking about. 3.65 um, degrees below zero. That may be off. Let me see. 372 plus 93, uh, 372, 93. That's, oh, I think that's right, actually. Wow. Hmm. Anyway. I, did I have this up here already? I might have. Let's see. I've got this up here. Uh, oh, it's 4.65. Well, I was close. Well, let me fix that before we get two people clamoring. As Ms. Gilly said it's three and one and four and the other. I'm, I don't know which is which. My calculator says four, but you got three, and I'm confused. Okay, okay, stop asking me. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Jeez. Oh, did I lose my freezing point? Well, I just got rid of it completely. That's weird. That's weird. All right, well, I have to put it back up before you go. Okay, so your um, your assignment on these four problems with the boiling point and freezing point. Show me your setup, give me your formula, your setup, and your answer. And for number three, I want you to go three decimal places for both the freezing point and the water. Okay? Have fun.